I'm here in the home of legendary director Franco Zeffirelli. Famous for his magnificent sense of visual spectacle, Zeffirelli's seminal productions include Tosca, which premiered at Covent Garden in 1964 with Maria Callas, and the 1968 film version of Romeo and Juliet. Now in his ninth decade, he has worked with a pantheon of stars, including Leonard Bernstein, Laurence Olivier, and Elizabeth Taylor. In the mid-1990s, he became a senator of Silvio Berlusconi's Forza Italia party. Now retired from political life, creatively he remains as active as ever. And your first great opera production was Callas, Tosca, at Covent Garden in 1964 with Callas. You remember that, I imagine, very well. Um, why do you think that performance was so exceptional? She was bursting, exploding as a phenomenal artist. And she really gave us, all of us, not so literal examples for career, but principles. Nobody must be better than you. You have to do the best. You have a great reputation for conjuring fantastic performances out of Angenou. In particular, I'm thinking of Olivia Hussey in Romeo and Juliet, who was only 15 when she acted that part. How did you inspire a 15-year-old girl to transmit Shakespeare with so much realism? Well, I enjoy, and I enjoy very much. I like to work with, with somebody else who's giving me, offering me an opportunity. She too had a problem in her life uh, family. The mother was a, a Argentinian, no, English girl. There was a nurse in an Argentinian hospital. Mm -hmm. so she had this dog, she had the, the education, discipline of the mind of a, an English girl, and the warm and madness of a Latin girl. I've heard you say that Jesus of Nazareth was the most important production of your career. Can you tell us why that is? Well, it should be, actually. But I... Why? I love it. If I were a father or a mother, I wouldn't be able to say which one of my children. So, OK, I'll, I'll put it another way. Why is Jesus of Nazareth so important for you? Well, it's important to all of us. Also, was a ground for great uncertainty and fear. I didn't want to do it. My agent was the one who said, well, be careful. Uh, and then I said, no, 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 no. And finally, he told me, look, they do it. They are going to make a big film for television, six hours, on the story of Jesus. If you don't do it, somebody else will do it, and you'll be very unhappy, because you, realize, you will realize that you could have done better. So he convinced me. Once I was in it, all the, all the good things that uh, life had offered me until then came up. In Tea with Mussolini, you made a film that essentially retold your own story. Why did you decide to make an autobiographical film at that point in your career? Because I think my story was very dramatic and very interesting. So the a situation with those ladies that well, I was I so sure were attracted, uh, will attract a lot of people. Watching Tea with Mussolini, it would be hard to tell what politics the director holds. Nevertheless, you chose to go into politics. I guess I asked myself, I'm going to do this. What do those ladies think and feel? And the answer was that they would have approved my line of thinking. Left-wingers in the culture, they were very hurt by my choice of field which was not certainly towards communism. And do you still support Silvio Berlusconi? Are you glad you, you made that choice to support his party? He was strong and intense and simple. Now he has to, 
is attacked from all sides and he has to be on the defense. So he is creating an artificial image for himself to hide him. I don't know, I don't think ever a political man in any country or at any time has been an object of such a unfair treatment. Could you name a person that has been, for you, the most important to work with in all these? Well, several. In opera, for instance, Bisconti was uh, very good as a director and also opera. But Johanna really gave me all the hints, the keys of the success of the old maestro, Serafin. Tullio Serafini. I had this chance, a gift from God, to be working with him at the very beginning of my life. And he told me all the, the directions I should follow. And do you still like to work as much as ever? It's like living. Oh, what do I like about living? Uh, it's very difficult to, for me to think that I I should retire, like many people suggest. Why doesn't he retire? He's 87, is it? And they make plans for the next four or five years. And uh, one uh, like me, who has always been working, cannot imagine starting in the morning without, what do I do today? How do I that, uh, much ado. Callas, Pavarotti, a Sutherland, Domingo, Corelli, Everti. And this is Puccini, Zeffirelli. Grazie infinitamente. Ah, cara, grazie mille. Grazie. Grazie. Grazie.